Hey guys, John Oakes here, and this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to get staked in energy. Now, energy, NRGY, is a new DeFi coin that is making a lot of waves out there in the community right now. So there's a lot of people looking for the process of how to get started, how to get staked in energy. I'm going to walk you through that process here in the next couple of minutes. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get a MetaMask wallet. So go to MetaMask.io and go ahead and download that browser extension, which is the, the MetaMask wallet. Um, that will work in Safari, in Chrome, in Brave, probably other browsers as well. I personally use Brave, so I can, I can tell you personally it works perfectly in Brave. Once you've installed the browser extension, you'll, you'll have access to that um, from the little you know, browser launch uh, area in the corner. When you open that browser extension, it'll open a little MetaMask window inside your browser. Now, if you're just getting started and you've just installed your wallet, you probably don't have any Ethereum yet. Ethereum is the best crypto to use for initially staking inside of energy because it is a, an Ethereum smart contract. So what we want to do is get Ethereum into our MetaMask wallet. Now, if you're a crypto person already, you've already got some crypto at another exchange or in another wallet, you can simply grab your crypto address for Ethereum inside of MetaMask. And let me just bring that up and go to account details. It'll bring up the little code that you can scan as well as your wallet. You can grab that wallet address and then simply go to your other exchange or your other wallet where you have Ethereum and just send it directly to your MetaMask, right? So that's a super easy way to do it if you already have Ethereum. Now, if you don't have any Ethereum yet, there's a couple of options for you. Number one is you can go right here to the buy link inside of MetaMask. And with a credit card, you can purchase up to $500 of Ethereum. Now, this is fine. It works great. However, you know, keep in mind that when you uh, stake into energy, there is going to be a gas fee with Ethereum. And that gas fee can run, you know, sometimes $200, $240. Um, it, it's not ideal to be putting in only $500, right? Because half your investment gets eaten up in fees. So I do recommend an investment of higher than 500, but if that's your maximum, this is a way to do it and you can do it very quickly. Uh, within just a few minutes, you'll have Ethereum inside your MetaMask wallet and you can continue to the next portion that we're gonna be talking about of actually doing the staking. Now, if you're wanting to invest more than $500 of Ethereum, then what I recommend is that you go to Coinbase and you set up an account there if you don't have one yet. Coinbase is a, a very predominant exchange. It's based in the United States. It allows you to set up a free account and then link a credit card or a bank account and, and so forth inside of that within just a few minutes. And then you can transfer using ACH, which is zero fees. You can transfer money straight from your bank account right into Coinbase and then purchase Coinbase inside Ethereum. And then very easily from your Ethereum wallet and Coinbase, just transfer that right to your MetaMask wallet uh, inside of, of the system here. So that's the, the other easy way to do it. Now, I will tell you that when you do a transfer from your bank, you move money into Coinbase. Oftentimes, they want to hold that money for four to seven days before they, they completely authorize you to be able to move it. They'll allow you to buy Ethereum right away, but you can't transfer it out until that four to seven days uh, of clearing has happened. So just be aware of that, right? And as the price is going up with energy, you know, sometimes this can be a little bit time sensitive, but keep in mind that as with all cryptos, there are pullbacks, there are price adjustments that happen throughout every day. Um, so you can often still get in at a good price, okay? So let's talk about what happens once you already have Ethereum inside your MetaMask wallet. So let me close this real quick and go to the actual community builder screen. So everything inside of, uh, of the system, let me move this out of my way here. Okay, community builder. All right, so once, uh, once you have been given the link from your referrer to the community builder, and the community builder is a decentralized app built upon the energy system. And so what we use here is, is this is a really cool app that allows us to refer people into energy, allows them to do their staking, and then monitor their entire investment throughout the process. So inside this app, what you're going to do is go to the link for the community builder that was given to you by the person who referred you. Now, if, if you're watching this video and nobody has referred you and you'd like to get staked in energy, you can certainly reach out to me for that community builder link. 
Or if you're watching this on a platform like YouTube or something like that, there'll probably be a, a link directly underneath or in the comments um, that you can use for the community builder. Now, when you click that link and go to the community builder, it's going to the first time require you to connect your wallet. Okay, so you'll click this button that says connect wallet. And that will automatically connect to your MetaMask wallet that you have set up. Now, if you're doing it for the very first time, it won't connect just like you saw on the screen. It will pop up your MetaMask window and ask you to authorize that first. Then it'll go back to the community builder and you may have to click connect one more time so that it connects and you see what's displayed on the screen right here. Okay, so one thing you might wanna do is verify that the invited by code that you see on your screen matches the invited by link that you were given by the person who invited you, right? Does that make sense? The link that you clicked to go to the community builder should match this link right here. Um, usually it will, but it's just a double check to make sure that you're giving credit to the person who actually referred you. Now, once you're in the community builder for the very first time, you should see once it's connect to your wallet that whatever Ethereum you have available in your wallet will display inside the community builder. And this is where we're gonna actually go <clears throat> to do the staking. So we're gonna go to Ethereum, we're gonna click the little drop down box, and here's where we're gonna enter the amount that we want to stake, okay? So keep in mind also that you will need to leave a little bit of extra room of your balance to cover the gas fee. So you can see here, my balance is 3.02 Ethereum. So I might want to only stake three so that I'm leaving enough to cover fees. And once you put in the amount, you click stake. What that's going to do is bring up your MetaMask window. And once that loads, <clears throat> it's a little bit slow today. There we go. <clears throat> so once it loads, you're going to see that you've got your gas fee and then the total amount that you're investing. And you can see right here that I've got an alert that says insufficient funds. If that happens to you, what that means is that you didn't have enough Ethereum in your wallet to cover the gas fee and the amount that you wanted to invest. So it's okay if that happens, just click reject. That window will close and then you can go back and enter an amount that you know will leave you enough to cover the gas fee. So once that reloads, you'll see now that the confirm button is blue and everything looks good, okay? Now the gas fee, let me talk about that for just a second. Throughout the day, the gas fee fluctuates and at times of the day, that gas fee can be really high. I've seen it upwards of three, $400. Um, if you want to you know, still do your transaction but not pay as high a gas fee, you have the option to click this little edit button and here you can select uh, a different speed of transaction. So you could go to slow, you can see slow is $142, average 172, fast 198. Um, here you could click slow and then click save and it would only pay or charge you a maximum of 142 for the gas fee. Now, another option is you can go under advanced and right here you could put in a maximum amount you're willing to pay and then click save. Now, I'll warn you that if you put in a lower amount than even the slow price, that it could take you hours or you know, many hours to, to process your transaction. If you're feeling like the price of energy is continuing to climb at this time, then you might want to weigh that against your decision of just going with a, you know, a gas fee that you know will process versus trying to save a few bucks on the gas fee. So let me close that window. And that's it. So once you've decided that you're good with your settings here and you're ready to go ahead and stake your Ethereum in energy, you just click confirm. And once you do that, then it will say processing up in the corner. And however long that takes, it could take you know a couple of minutes to a few hours, depending on what you chose for your gas fee option. But that's the process. Uh, just leave that window open, let it process, let it do its thing. And as soon as it's finished, then you'll see a little notice that says completed and your staked energy amount will display down here at the bottom. So very, very simple process to do. Um, that is it, that's the extent of it. So again, if you're ready to get staked in energy, then you know, certainly reach out to me or use the link that you find uh, below this video. And we look forward to having you as part of the community.